The tough challenges we face in society are as old as society itself. Crime, disease, poverty, war, terrorism, and the spiritual and environmental pollution that breeds them. Our progress against these ancient ills is encouraging, but uneven. We all want our children to inherit a peaceful, prosperous, and healthy world. The job to be done is clear enough, but our diverse society is unsure how to do that job. As individuals, we might dismiss the problems of society as far too complex or difficult for us to solve. We might think there's not much we can do about them, but they still affect us, and deeply. For our own well-being, we can't afford to tuck down our heads and ignore the suffering around us. To quote the great Charles Dickens, mankind is my business, the common welfare is my business, charity, mercy, forbearance, and benevolence are all my business. In my new book, The Third Alternative, you'll read about amazing people, synergists, who look at our society and see its ills as opportunities for transformation, as invitations to change the game and create a future that is literally better than anything we have dreamed of. You read about a small group of concerned citizens who on their own initiative decided to save the heart of New York City from spiraling down into a cesspool of crime and violence. You read about a group of pilgrims in India who travel the country in search of third alternative ideas for solving everyday problems like preserving food and healing wounds. You read about a retired couple who is finding ways to eradicate poverty in their home city of Cincinnati, Ohio. These and other stories will show how it doesn't matter if our circle of influence is small or large a little family, or a whole society, because the consequences of our actions expand with time. We don't have to be paralyzed by false dilemmas. We don't have to wait for society to change. We can consciously create our own change and contribute toward transforming the society we live in.